Hello everybody, my name is Hayden and today I'll be talking to you about ditching and landing your aircraft with a damaged engine. In this scenario I have a perforated water radiator and it's only a matter of time before my engine quits. I do notice occasionally that people tend to bail out of the aircraft as opposed to trying to land it safely or ditch it. Uh, if it were me, I would always try to land it. For one, it denies your enemy a kill credit. And two, it's just more professional. So I'll be talking to you about how to do that. Uh, from my experience, a perforated water radiator tends to be the most common engine damage. It could be as a result of an engine overheat or uh, battle damage. The nice thing about it is you do get a few minutes of engine operation before the engine finally quits. If it were me and I was not near a friendly airfield, I would be using every second of that time to climb. The more altitude you have, the more time you have to figure out where you're going to land. Once you get where you need to get, uh, it's important to shut the engine down before the damage gets too severe or you risk puncturing the uh, oil gasket, which is going to make it harder for you to see. So in this scenario, I've made it back to France and I have plenty of places to land. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to shut the engine down early so I don't damage it anymore. Okay, as soon as you shut the engine down, what you need to do is to put your prop pitch in manual if it's not already and dial the prop all the way back. Okay, now you've got the prop dialed back as far as you can. Uh, that has the effect of reducing drag. Well, uh, unfortunately, I was unable to save the oil gasket, so we'll just have to deal with that. As I was saying, dialing back the prop pitch reduces drag through the prop. It turns the blades into the airflow a little bit more and will help increase your glide. Once your engine is off, you need to be looking for a suitable place to land. Uh, if, if you have an airfield, that's preferable. If you don't, anywhere that looks flat will work. Also, what you want to be doing is looking for a glide speed, one that will extend your range as much as possible. I have found that 250 kilometers an hour is a good gl uh, glide speed for the 109. I'm going to be using pitch to control that airspeed. That should help extend my glide range just a little bit. Also, as you're gliding, you want to try to keep the plane as clean as possible. Reduce turns and use your rudder to keep the ball centered. That will keep the aircraft as clean as it can be and extend your range even more for gliding. Also, if you get a chance, close all your radiators. That will help reduce drag as well. As you can see here, as you're watching the altimeter, we're, we're descending at a fairly reasonable rate here. It's not too fast. So we could actually probably glide quite a ways like this. However, if you get to where you need to get, and you notice that the field is not far away, you may actually have to scrub some speed for your landing. In this scenario, I'll be landing at the field directly in front of us here, but if you don't have a field handy, again, just look for anything that appears to be flat. I will be doing a, a wheels up landing in this scenario to uh, simulate not having a runway to land on. So now we're coming in pretty fast for the runway. Uh, what I'll start doing at this point to scrub some speed is a, uh, scrub some speed rather, is a forward slip. So basically I'll push the rudder pedal all the way to one side and ailerons the opposite direction and that's going to slow the plane down significantly. Okay. Once I've scrubbed some speed you'll notice the altitude dropped quite a bit. And then I only do that as much as necessary to make the landing that I want to make. So the field is in sight there. 
Do it one more time, just grab a little more speed. Okay, I'll start lowering my flaps now. Always try to ditch your plane with your flaps down. It will help get your speed down a little bit more. Do a little more forward slipping here to slow down a little more. Okay. As you're coming into land here, keep your pitch up as high as you can. Nose up all the way. And there you go. That was a safe ditch. You can do this on anywhere that's flat. The plane is mostly intact. Obviously the prop is bent and there's some damage underneath. But the plane is intact and you're safe. And the enemy doesn't get the kill credit. And you live. So never bail out if your plane is still flyable. Ditch it like this. Thank you for watching.